Hey guys, in this video we are going to talk about Basel, a city in the northern part of Switzerland and home to famous tennis player Roger Federer. Basel is the third most populous city in Switzerland, right after Zurich and Geneva. There are about 170,000 people living in the city of Basel, but considering the outskirts, Basel holds up to 800,000 residents. Basel is located in the northern part of Switzerland, bordering Germany in the north and France in the west. This is why there is a huge international community in Basel. Many people speak English and French, but the language you hear on the streets is Swiss German. More precisely, locals speak Basel German, but the official language in school and state affairs is German. The climate in Basel is much better than in the rest of Switzerland. Thanks to its geographical location, there is a lot of Mediterranean air flowing through the city, resulting in a mild and sunny climate, with almost no fog and less rain. This is why in Basel you can find lots of different plants, trees and flowers. The nature in Basel is very diverse. Mimosa pudica, also known as touch me not or sensitive plant, is a tree that usually appears in the area from Iran to China and Japan. But thanks to Basel's climate, it also appears in this city. Nevertheless, Basel is situated in Switzerland's most dangerous earthquake zone. Sadly, a huge earthquake killed several hundred people in 1356. Basel lies on a river called Rhine. The river is absolutely beautiful and there is no other Swiss city which is located on such a wide river. On hot summer days, people enjoy taking a swim in the Rhine. The Rhine's strong current allows you to get some great insights of Basel while calmly floating on the water. Isn't that nice? Furthermore, you can find a lot of people sitting next to the river enjoying the good weather. There are wonderful street promenades where people like to have some drinks, get some ice cream or just to go for a walk. There even is a small ferry, which is only powered by the current of the Rhine. It takes you to the other side of the river in exchange for 1.6 Swiss francs. There is nothing for free in Switzerland. But it is definitely worth to take a ride on this ferry, since you get to see the city from a very unique angle. There are a lot of people from different countries living in Basel. Not only because Basel borders both Germany and France, but also because of the fact that there are huge international companies located in Basel. In addition to a lot of insurance and consulting companies, Basel is a hotspot for the pharmaceutical industry worldwide. In fact, two of the world's largest pharma companies called Roche and Novartis are headquartered here in Basel. They have gigantic research facilities and are definitely main economic contributors. In terms of value, over 94% of Basel's export goods are accountable to its chemical and pharmaceutical industry. In 2017, the pharmaceutical industry stood out for 38% of all Swiss exports, way more than the watch and chocolate industry combined. Roche, for example, spends more than $28 million per day on research and development. That's truly mind-blowing. In 2018, this company made more than $56 billion in revenue, from which more than $20 billion were pure profit. Novartis also is one of Switzerland's biggest companies, which made almost $52 billion last year. So it's clear to say that Basel is one of the biggest hubs for talents specialized in chemistry, biology and science in general. Also, Switzerland's largest retail and wholesale company called Coop is headquartered in Basel. The Coop Group has a workforce of about 80,000 people, with approximately 54,000 people employed in Switzerland. The Roche Tower, Switzerland's tallest building, is one of many attractions in Basel. With a height of 178 meters, it definitely is an eye-catcher. On the building's top floor, there is a stunning view over the whole city and agglomeration. And at least in theory, this skyscraper is designed to withstand earthquakes. Currently, Roche is building a second tower right next to this building, which will surpass it by almost 30 meters, exceeding the mark of 200 meters in total. Basel has one of the world's highest quality of life. Worldwide, it ranks 10th with three more Swiss cities ranked in the top 15 in very close travel distance – Zurich, Geneva and Bern. Therefore, the city of Basel is quite expensive. For the amount of money you have to spend to live in Basel for a month, you could stay in Berlin for little less than two months, in Budapest for almost three months 
or in Mumbai for more than three and a half months. But housing prices are not that high compared to other Swiss cities. A three and a half bedroom flat in Basel will cost you around $850,000. People are much more relaxed than in other cities of Switzerland. Tourists describe Basel as a provincial city because people of Basel prefer to follow a cozy and relaxed lifestyle. The history and architectonic appearance of Basel are quite unique. In Zurich or in Luzern, you can experience typical Swiss architecture, whereas in Basel, you can clearly see the German and French influence on its design. Many people refer to Basel as the most European city in Switzerland. Maybe because of this reason, Basel is extremely rich in culture, organizing several big events a year. One of the most spectacular events is Basel's Carnival, which is visited by thousands of people annually. People are wearing extraordinary handcrafted masks and are playing all different kinds of drums and flutes while walking through the streets of Basel. They even throw candy to visitors, which is probably the reason why locals say that these are the three most wonderful days a year. Another cultural highlight is Basel's Christmas market, which is visited by more than 600,000 people annually. It is Switzerland's biggest and oldest Christmas market and is absolutely worth seeing. Basel holds almost 40 museums. The Basel Museum of Art contains Switzerland's biggest public art collection, which is moreover the world's oldest one. Yet another interesting fact is the friendly rivalry between Basel and Zurich. Because of cultural and historical differences, people of Basel have a lot jokes targeting people of Zurich and vice versa. A few hundred years ago, Basel was Switzerland's most powerful and influential city. The first University of Switzerland was built in Basel and there were many influential and rich families situated here. But during the 20th century, Zurich surpassed Basel both economically and in terms of influence throughout Switzerland, which is probably the reason for those cultural tensions. Furthermore, there was a race involving Basel and Zurich in building the highest tower of Switzerland. First, Basel held the lead with its 105 meter tall Messe Tower. Then Zurich fought back, building a 126 meter tall Prime Tower. And now Basel holds the lead again thanks to the Roche Tower. Here is a joke that you definitely need to know when visiting Basel. So what's the best thing about Zurich? It's the intercity train ride back to Basel. In Basel there are a lot of imposing bridges where you can enjoy the view over Basel and the river. The oldest bridge has been built during the year of 1225 but was rebuilt in 1905. Basel was first mentioned in the year of 374, which makes it one of Switzerland's oldest cities. The old part of Basel is still in good condition and is definitely worth seeing. Note how small those buildings are. These buildings, for example, were built during the years of 1200, almost 300 years before the American continent was even discovered by the Europeans. Now you can find several shops and restaurants in those houses. Public transport in Basel is good. Although there is no subway infrastructure, you can reach any point of the city by using those remarkable green trams. Not only are they a distinguishable trademark of Basel, but it's also always a pleasure to ride the trams since they are very convenient. Besides that, Basel is Switzerland's capital city when it comes to bicycles. People love to use their bicycles to commute. And thanks to countless bikeways, it is considered to be safe to ride bicycles in the city. Another interesting fact is that in the outskirts of Basel, remainings of the oldest Jewish community north of the Alps were found. Basel holds an important role in the history of Judaism. In 1897, the first Zionist Congress, where the Israeli flag was designed, took place in Basel. As Theodor Herzl's, head of the Jewish independent state movement, said, in Basel I founded the Jewish state of Israel. However, almost 50% of the residents of Basel don't account themselves to any religion, while 30% are Christians and almost 8% are Muslim. The National Conservative Swiss People's Party is Switzerland's strongest political party, whereas in Basel the Swiss Socialist Party holds the lead with more than 35% approval. This explains why Basel is one of Switzerland's most liberal and open cities. Therefore, it is no coincidence 
that Rien, a neighborhood situated in the outskirts of Basel, was the first local community in Switzerland to allow women to vote. Embarrassingly, this did not take place until the year of 1958. To sum up, Basel is definitely worth seeing, especially if you are interested in discovering history, culture or in practicizing in one of Basel's events mentioned previously. Have you ever visited Basel? What were your impressions? Please let me know in the comments. And if you have some more ideas about which cities or countries I should cover next, please leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe in order to not miss any new videos about the world's most interesting cities and countries. And don't forget to activate the bell so that you get notified every time a video about an interesting city appears. Thanks for watching.